how to the dash power dishes here and um, just as a uh, warning this is for extremely nerdy people only like me and I think like probably like one percent of the people who actually watch my videos actually come here for good computer science content and all I really post is like hacks and funny pranks and stuff and that was a fake sneeze right there I got skills yeah, so anyways, so everyone knows, um, Stuxnet. Crazy thing, like, boosted Iranian nuclear, nuclear plan, nuclear plan, and it kind of messed up stuff in the Iranian nuclear plan. I'm 12. Um, I found this program code, and I actually made some edits to it, because, um, I got the program code right here. Um, the thing with this is that it, it was active in 2010 as an actual email worm. And I'll show you the email worm contents right here. And I think it's encrypted with hexadecimal plus salt. So um, you guys are going to have to decrypt these hashes. But this would be what you would get in a standard email worm. And yeah. So... I also need to put this in a paste bin. So I put my edited code onto a um, paste bin. Now basically with the Iranian, uh, with uh, uranium um, centrifuges as of right now is that Iran with the latest nuclear plan, it's uranium is only probably going to be enriched to like 3.67% of actual uranium. So um, to make sure, if you wanted, to um, completely destroy all that um, uranium enrichment and send it from a detailed torrent source that would make you anonymous, you'd have to use a proxy service. I'm not suggesting CyberGhost, because... Uh, oh, dang, a lot of people are trying to get me. 22 tracking services blocked. Oh, man, I'm not feeling good today. Um... Yeah, there is an option to download anonymously and set up a torrent anonymously if you do know how to do that. Um, let's see, uh, what else do I need to cover? Yeah, um, this is just, uh, this is hexadecimal, it is encrypted, that's why no one understands what it is unless you're pretty much a computer. Uh, if you type this into Google, if it's just a standard hex encryption, um, which the hex encryption is probably like 97 or probably not 97, that'd be terrible if it was 97. But if it was 97, you could just um, copy-paste this entire thing, put it into Google, and then it'd probably decrypt it for you, even though this is probably a lot for it to handle. Um, it's running XML, which fucking hate. Um, you need HTML, because it's cool. Yeah, so I've edited certain um, restrictions into the code. It would, because right now, as they have had audited some software into um, uranium enrichment is as because as you know they're using PSCI um, standard um, devices to be able to control um, the actual centrifuges that actually um, enrich the uranium and stuff like that. So um, of course educational purposes only I mean come on engineering studying i mean come on yeah i uh, was like uh, i'm just a 12 year old kid i don't think i actually added this at all a s c i i i mean come on um this was the start of it um so i'll have the stuxnet code it's going to be available for uh paste bin um and I have to post the email worm that um, would automatically infect your computer and uh, send this hexadecimal thing right here. Um, email worms basically are the same thing as botnets. Um, you would have the email worm and then it would have um, you sending this um, line of script. Sending the script that would be sent to Iran. And that's why it's so hard to uh, find it. In fact, I'm pretty sure the U.S. made this virus. It's a pretty elaborate 
plot. Uh, I kind of commend them for that. But, you know, I don't really have any political beliefs, so. But it's pretty interesting code if you want to know the anatomy of Stuxnet code. It's right here in my videos. Check them out. It's written in C hash, as you can see. Uh, running for Chrome. Uh, I need to fix that. Uh, Xcode doesn't seem to be here. I set it on GitHub, so it'll be okay. Or maybe I'll set it on Chrome. Who knows? Maybe Google Chrome has like a ton of <laughs> centrifuges and they're making uranium. Uh, I'm not feeling too good today. <clears throat> and I did decide to make edits to some code, so I've been taking a while and I'll be sure to post this um, on the email where I'm on Tastebin. As of course, I'm just rambling on right now. Um, but besides that, um, I also wanted to say another thing for your browser extensions. Um, I'm going to be doing a heart bleed code, and I'm going to be seeing if I can edit it. Like for like the Stuxnet code, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything. I mean, what am I? I'm a 12 year old kid. I probably made a bunch of errors. Uh, it's probably not even going to work in the nuclear centrifuges. It's probably mess it, mess it the hell up, but, you know, whatever. Um, there's some paste bin, uh, no, not paste bin. The heart bleed code, which activates open SSO. I'll be doing a video going over the heart bleed code. Um, it's in an RFC, I'm pretty sure. So it'll be pretty easy to get and um, edit the code. And then I'll publish it to paste bin and then you guys can check it out. Um, besides that, thank you guys for watching, and, um, by the way, this is not a standard Windows virus, this is not a standard Linux virus, the email worm, if you decrypt it in the hexadecimal, and then, of course, you edit it, I have not edited the email worm, the email worm stands as is, because that is, because you have the standard program code, but I mean, seriously, what do you mean if you're going to walk up to a nuclear centrifuge, you're going to take, you're going to take a dual boot USB, plug it into the centrifuge, oh, what do you know, you don't, you, you didn't do anything, because there is no goddamn USB port for a goddamn USB port for a nuclear centrifuge. I could most possibly edit the email worm, but I didn't, because that's malicious, and the hackers are separate from cyber criminals in a more metaphorical and philosophical sense. Um, yeah, but besides that, uh, thank you guys for watching, and have a super crack, how do you like XBL dishes do?